So welcome guys. What I'm about to teach you today guys will guarantee that whenever you start a business, it will succeed. Okay. So now I know that, you know, we all have big dreams of owning big businesses, you know, that will, you know, give us a lot of money and, and you know, we can be able to buy everything that we've ever wanted. Okay. But if you ignore what I'm about to teach you today, okay, I'm afraid there's a 99% chance that you will not be able to achieve your dreams or even your goals. Okay. So I learned this one thing, guys, and it has changed my business in a big way. Just learning this one thing. Okay. And before I learned it, guys, I started so many businesses and I failed every single time. Okay. So I hope guys you understand how important it is that you under, understand this one thing and hopefully you master it. Because this is the one thing that all the companies that do well are doing it. All the successful entrepreneurs, they have it drilled in into their in, into their subconsciousness. That's why every time they start businesses, their businesses always do well. Okay. So now for me to be able to teach you this, I first need you to understand, you know, how did I come about to learn this one important thing? Okay. So what happened was, uh, I'm what Peter Drucker calls a reluctant entrepreneur. Okay. So what that means, guys, is that I did not start off with this big dream of I want to own businesses. I want to become an entrepreneur. That was never my dream. Okay. I just had a simple dream. You know, my dream was... I just wanted to be an electronic engineer. That's all I wanted to do throughout my whole life. Okay. But, you know, through unforeseen circumstances, I was forced into this world of business and entrepreneurship. Because what happened is, you know, as, as I started to work and I, and, and I, and I was also, I was also getting older. I began to learn a few things about myself that, you know, what, I care the most about as a person is freedom you know it's not money you know I, I need to, to do work that gives me freedom that I can do the work that matters to me I can work in my own on my own terms and that's what I wanted to do and it started to create conflict between myself and my employers and hence as I look deeper into this matter I began to understand that the only thing that can give me freedom is if I own my own business and that's why I became an entrepreneur because of it was the path for me it was a path to freedom okay and what happened was uh, you know because of all that you know I found myself unemployed and I had to figure out a way to support my family and that's when I started to say I need to start a business so that I can be able to take care of my family and as I did that, you know, um, I failed so many times. And not only did I fail, but, you know, I my income started moving in the opposite direction, right? I started getting into debt. I started losing money and, you know, all kinds of problems happened. And, but the thing is, this was the co a course that was meaningful to me at the core. And I was willing to do the work it takes. I was willing to work around the clock, seven days a week, because it was important to me. Okay. And that's the first thing I will always advise everybody is try to find, try to do things that are meaningful to you, things that go beyond the money. And if you could find that, it's easy for you to excel. Because a lot of people don't do work for those reasons. People do stuff just for money. And if you do it for money, there's there's a limit to that. There's a limit on how hard you will work. There's a limit on how how long you will work without getting paid. And people that are that can go into that place of working hard, not getting paid, and do it long enough, they become masters of their craft. And before you know it, they dominate. And when they dominate, that is when the money comes. Okay. And if if you could find yourself at that place, it's a very special place. You know. Uh, so the, the thing I learned, guys, as, as, as I was figuring out this world of entrepreneurship, I learned something super important. I learned that, number one, success is all about mindset. It's not about markets. It's not about money. It's not about, you know, uh, opportunity. 
but the most important factor of, of success is mindset and i want to talk up to you about two kinds of mindset okay you got the employee mindset okay you got the employee mindset that's the first mindset and this is the mindset i brought i came with when i started getting uh, started to get into uh, wanting to start my own business i came with the employee mindset okay and the second mindset that uh, we need to talk about quickly is the entrepreneur okay i hope i spell this right i always, I always spell it wrong so I hope if i do please forgive me entrepreneur mindset okay. that's the second mindset okay so now these are the two mindset guys okay first mindset it's the employee mindset second mindset is the entrepreneur mindset okay so now i want to talk about what's the difference and how just understanding this will make a huge huge difference in how well you do as you try to start your own business and as you try to achieve financial freedom so when i started guys i looked at it i looked at business from an employee mindset so what i mean by that is i obviously in the past i know that uh, my work was always aligned to uh, i think i was paid on an hourly basis right so i thought of it the same way like you know i thought of an hourly rate but I, everything i did was always based on an hourly rate like i work i work one hour i must get paid x amount Okay, so if I put this amount of hours, I'm gonna be paid amount. So everything was always on an hourly rate. I pay, you know, exchange money for time. Okay, and what happened was, guys, when I started doing this, you know, something very weird happened, right? So I saw that now. Let's say this this was my hourly rate here. Yeah. Maybe I was let's say I'm, I was earning four fifty an hour. Let's say I was in for 15 hours, right? So now, what happened was, now let's say that's my rate then. As I started trying to say, okay, I, I need to work for myself now. What happened was, everything got very bad, okay? I started getting to a place where I'm actually earning nothing. I'm saying nothing per hour. Okay. I operated in this range for a very, very long time where I actually earned nothing, nothing for for my time. Okay. Uh, I would actually uh, do work that I would not be paid for, you know. Uh, and it was hard because then I'm saying, you know, I work 10 hours a day. I got to get X amount of time. I would work 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours a day, 16 hours a day for seven days a week. And I would earn nothing. Nothing would come of it, out of it. I would build websites. I would try affiliate marketing. I would do all that and nothing would happen. Okay. Nothing would happen. And things would get so bad that, you know, I would not make my payments. And the banks will come and try to repo my house. And it was just a nightmare. Okay, because I was operating from an employee mindset, like, you know, I, I need to work X amount of hours and get paid X amount of time. And I, and, and I learned very, very, I wouldn't say quickly, but I learned the hard way that it doesn't work if you're trying to be self-employed, this kind of mindset. It doesn't work. Okay. And you only get paid as, as, a, as, as, you, as you self-employed, you learn only one thing, you only get paid okay for even perceived value that's what you get paid for okay you get paid as a as a, as a self-employed person for perceived value this is what i mean okay someone will say i need a website okay from you 
and according to them a website should easily cost them a thousand rands all done so it's okay thousand two next they'll say i'm willing to pay you a thousand two for my web for a, web a website fully done and then you work on that website and these websites takes from you uh you end up working on it let's say for three days 72 hours and then you be like man i worked three days on this thing and this person does not want to pay me beyond a thousand two but when i put them an hourly rate i should be earning much much more right but they say no you know it's not worth that to me i'm not gonna pay you that much but you say but when i was at a job it was easy to do this but now why is it so hard to get to the same amounts when i'm self-employed and it comes back to the mindset is wrong okay your mindset is wrong because then you are exchanging time you are exchanging time for money and this only works when you have employees but you yourself when you go to the marketplace you cannot use the same the same way of uh, asking for your money you cannot exchange time for money because if you do that you're gonna earn way less than this and it's gonna be very difficult for you to make good money okay that's why guys when you go out into the marketplace you need to exchange value let me just put it this way you need to exchange results for money that's what i learned i need to exchange results for money okay not not time for money because the the challenge here is when you exchange time for money then people do not respect your time because to them your time is free okay think about a mechanic when you're with a mechanic and then he spends 10 minutes to solve the problem and then he charges you ten thousand, you feel like he has robbed you right versus when a mechanic uh, gives you the result and say you know what your car is broken i'm gonna move i'm gonna help you get it on the road right and you're gonna have to pay me ten thousand if you want me to do it now you're gonna pay me five thousand if you want me to do it in two weeks and you'll be like okay i'm paying you to save me time so i'm willing to pay extra for that but now what what's important is how the mechanic presented his his solution so it's it's all in the what in the presentation of your solution and it takes an, an entrepreneurial mindset to understand that point good that it's all how you present your solution okay you can present your solution as cheap or you can present your solution as exclusive and then that makes all the difference okay so learning all these things guys these things here all these it, it, it needs you to have an entrepreneurial mindset okay not an employee mindset because an employee mindset it's all about time for for money i work x amount of time you give me x amount of money and people do not i uh, do, do not do a good job of paying you well when you base your results on that okay so now when you understand this that it's all about adding perceived value it's all about uh, exchanging results for money it's all about presentation of the solution when you understand that then it changes a lot of things a lot of things changes guys because the, the other problem most people make is especially you look see people in the mlm markets okay, mlm okay the mlm people make this mistake a lot they will focus on product okay they will focus on product they will say uh, use this product and then you're gonna lose this amount of weight and then what happens is this person may say but my name but my name is in the same product uh, I've seen 10,000 ads on the internet selling the same product. Now, uh, I'm not going to pay the amount you're asking me for. I'm sure I can get it cheaper somewhere else. And now you get into all kinds of problems. Okay? Because now you they're focused on product. Okay? And remember, guys, we spoke about two things. It's about you need to focus on what? On the result. You need to focus on the presentation. Now, people focus, this is the mistake that most employee mindset people do. They will push products all day long. They will say, I'm selling X product, it's going to give you X results, and everybody else is doing the same thing. Okay. Now, you, you, you don't have what we call what? A differentiator. Because what you need is a differentiator. This is how you, you survive 
diff- you need this is how you survive right you need a differentiator you need something that makes you different from everybody else because once you are different from everybody else nobody can compare your prices nobody can can can, can say hey buy the, and your neighbor selling it cheaper why am i buying it more expensive for you because remember that people are actively look, looking for ways to not not to pay you people are actively looking for ways to pay you less okay and now you need to find figure out a way to differentiate yourself from the pack okay and this is where it gets interesting because a lot of people are not willing to put in the time and the money to differentiate their their product offering or their solution from the pack because if you can do that if you can differentiate your solution and you can you can you can present your solution as different and as better than anybody else now what happens is you are able to price you are able to play in the premium pricing pool right you're able to print the premium pricing pool now you can price your product as high as you want and if you can price your product as high as you want, you can make as much money as you want. And this is how you make it. Okay. This is how you make it. Okay. And the challenge is a lot of people, when they look into businesses, they be saying, I need to do something as quick as possible. I need to make my money as quick as possible. And if you want to make money quickly, that means what? You copy other people. Okay. You, you go and, and sing the same marketing tune that everybody else is singing, but to your clients, when you sing the same tunes, when you don't focus on the solutions, but you focus on the you focus on product, I'm selling X amount of product for X amount of money. You see what happens? You see what happens? What happens is number one, you don't have impact. People don't hear you. Okay, you become an irritant. Okay, because you need to understand that people have problems, and they're actively looking actively looking for someone to solve those problems for them. If you present a solution and say here's the thing you're trying to lose x amount of weight in x amount of time and then here's the problem everything you use everybody's saying this and this and this and this is why it's not working okay now you do what you differentiate yourself for you to differentiate yourself you first need to do what to identify the problem show them why the current solutions are not working and why yours is the only solution that works you see but you focus on the problem and they'll be like okay this makes sense because you you answer the the questions they have in their mind because if i'm saying can't drink this is going to help you lose weight they're going to say i don't believe you and you need to find a way to answer that objection and say this is why you need to believe me and you need to always work against the current that means whatever is trending you need to work against it because if you work against it it, it differentiates you when it differentiates you then you are able to get price elasticity you're able to ask any price without them saying i can go buy it next door for the next door for the same price there is no next door you are the only guy right so a lot of people are not willing to put in the time and the money to build this kind of businesses and that is why guys once you figure out how to build this kind of businesses you will always succeed your business will never fail okay i hope it makes sense guys and thank you very much for your time and hopefully we'll talk next time